Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll finalize this series of videos that I've done on building a company intranet with PowerShell for SharePoint, of course. And now we're going to do a YouTube video and insert it on the first page of the sales department site. Let's get working on that and switch over here to my browser where I've found the original video on how to do this using the UI, not using PowerShell. So that video we want to embed. And of course, we do that with an embed code, which we'll find here. This is the embed code. Of course, we can modify that as we wish, but we'll just use the default for now. Just copy that bit. In order to get that into a SharePoint page using PowerShell, it becomes a bit tricky. So let's put all of that into a variable. First, that would be the YouTube video embed code like that. And that would be the whole thing that we copied there. Notice that I use the single quotes there because I have double quotes inside the string. So that's an important thing. Then we need to create a, a web part properties object. And the important part of that web part properties object is the embed code. So we're going to create a new class. And that class is going to be called web part properties properties that and uh, that has only one single property and the reason i do this is because i want to build a json string and um, i think this is the easiest way of doing that embed code that's what we want and that's going to be a string like that string embed code not string string there we go and that of course has to have a dollar character there also so there we have my class and now I'm going to just set that property. So I'm going to create a new object first, and that's going to be YT video props. Let's call it that equals new object. And then we're going to take that uh, web properties, web part properties. There we go. And now I can just do YT videos, video props. I don't get any intelligence sense yet because I haven't run the code. So let's run it. There we go. And there we have the embed code, and that's going to be the whole bit there. All right. So all of this bit here is so that I can convert all of this to a JSON string later. That is really useful in my opinion. And it's going to work, make this work, because that's what it's expecting. It's expecting a JSON string there, that property that we are looking for. So now I'm just going to declare another string, web part props JSON. I'm going to convert that object that we have to JSON and then that uh, YT video props. And then we're going to put that in the parentheses and everything is going to be fine. All right. So now we have all of that done. So this is the string that we are building. So it has an embed code. That looks absolutely right. Embed code equals and all of that. Everything is encoded also, but that's fine. All right, let's use this now. Now we have to add this default web part uh, page here. Add PNP client side web part. That's what we're doing. So add PNP client side web part. And the page that we're going to add it to is the default first page. Let's just check that that is the name of the default sales homepage. And there we can go into pages and see that. And there we home, home ASPX. That's absolutely correct. All right, good. Then we're going to add the default web part. And the one we want is the content embed. And then we want the web part properties to be that string that we just worked so hard to get. Web part properties, JSON. And that should be it. So let's add some comments here. Building JSON string. That's all of that. And building JSON string. And then just here, maybe change here for another video. All right. Now let's try this. We have the JSON string there. And now we can just run that line of code and hold our thumbs that everything works. It's doing something. There it is. Let's refresh the page now. Let's go to the home ASPX. And we should have another web part on there. And let's scroll down. 
scrolling, scrolling. Let's refresh that again. It added it somewhere. Ah, I forgot to run the first line of code there, the connect to the sales site. We didn't do that, did we? No, we're still on the home site. So let's do that also. Let's connect to the right site. And then we just add a plus a string like that, sales. Now we added the video to the default site. All right, so something worked, but let's connect to that one now and do the whole thing again. All right, connecting there and all right, let's take a look and refresh the page again. We are on the sales site, home page now, and there's my video. It's right there in the page. And now it's published. That concludes my demo. And as you see, this YouTube video thing was a bit complex for the end of it, maybe. But you'll hopefully have learned a lot in this presentation and this exercise, creating a whole intranet using PowerShell. Thank you for watching this demonstration.